So this may look like your standard run-of-the-mill F-150 King Ranch, but there's something very special about it. It's in fact a giant RC truck. Well, it's much more than an RC truck. It's an automated truck that Ford uses to do long-term durability testing. In other words, imagine a truck that runs around at the test grounds all day long, punishing the truck much more than a driver could. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. We are all clear. He's going to go ahead and press the play button. It's going to find its put itself on the path. You know, I was a little bit off when I parked it here. So it's putting itself on path. And uh, we do use a ping, pinion and a ring gear to move the steering wheel. So it's a little noisy, but it, uh, the noise is really what you're perceiving is uh, you know, more than anything else. So. And it's going to follow a planned path over this set of bumps. This is somewhat representative of what a car might do on durability. The truck uh, bumps and potholes are a bit more severe than this, for the most part. It's going to come back around. Uh, we've got it programmed to do a slalom. We've got the speed on the slalom turned down because this was covered with snow yesterday and we were a little worried about the vehicle sliding out on us. So, um, so it's not going to squeal the tires today, but uh, <laughs> a couple of the roads we've said are uh, so severe we don't allow the drivers to go on them anymore. So uh, if we had not had that, uh, the robot, we probably would have needed four drivers a shift to, to accomplish that test. Here come some bigger bumps. So these are, big, these are more representative of what a truck would do. And it would do that for, say, you, you mentioned up to 20 to 22 hours a day on bumps like that. So. Uh, Obviously, it's quite severe for people, and that's why we've targeted those types of roads for uh, robotic testing. And do you ever find that uh, the autonomous system actually wears out before the truck wears out, you know? <laughs> that, the, that the actuators... Well, we're, still we're still developing our uh, life, uh, life of the uh, components, but they've, they've been good for multiple tests. So far. Uh, we haven't actually worn out any of the, uh, the VCUs or anything like that. So the, Big thing that uh, the wiring, uh, we did replace all the wiring, but uh, is that, that's what uh, wears out the first. Well, we, we intend to, uh, you know, we have a target for how much uh, wear and tear we want to put into it that equates to about 15 years of service. Wow. So we, uh, the challenge is, is we want to compress our timing down to its, we only get that done in uh, you know, a matter of months instead of years. So we have to drive over the bumpy roads to put enough fatigue into the vehicle to be representative of what we might see in 10 to 15 years out of the field, right? So that's why we run with all these bumpy roads. So not that customers do, but in order to get the uh, representative use into the vehicle in a short amount of time, we have to drive them over bumpy roads. So that's the reason that we use the severe roads. The benefit of using automated trucks like this to do durability testing is that you can run the same course in the exact same manner that a human driver could never replicate. You can also put a lot more wear and tear into the truck because you're not putting all that wear and tear into the driver. So Ford is one of the first companies that has adopted this system. And if you ask me, as a big kit myself, I love the fact that you have a giant remote control truck. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao.